Oh yeah, we're back now. Um, what we're going to be doing on this next video is actually installing our WordPress theme that we're going to be using to build the website with. Uh, now there's hundreds and hundreds of WordPress themes out there that you can use. Some are free, some are premium. Um, I use one for all of mine because it's incredibly, incredibly flexible, comes with a huge amount of features. It does offer a free version, which just has less features, but covers all the basics. And then you have the premium version, which is I used for all my clients that I work with. Um, so the one that I use, and which I would recommend you use, but you don't have to, so I'll show you a few bits in a moment, is it comes from a company called WP Astra. So if you come through here, oh no, it's not going to find it. Let's give it a second to find it. There you go. So this is WP Astra. Um, it's absolutely hundreds of great templates that you can use. If then something here that you don't like, you can build your own design completely from scratch. It is incredibly flexible. If you go for the premium version, I don't know if it tells you in here. Um, basically, if you go for the premium version, you get a lot more themes that you can install ready-made. You also get Convert Pro, which is a great piece of software for building landing pages. You get Schema Pro, which allows you for your local business to put all your business details in such a way that they are very easily readable and understandable to Google, so it's great for SEO, so it includes that. Um, it also includes rich snippets, so you can go into your Google listings and put in different page titles and give more information to viewers looking for you on Google. So it's a fantastic bit of kit. You'll see it in action in a minute, but I'll show you the other options that are available. So if we Carry on then. This is let's climb Kilimanjaro.com. We're inside the dashboard now that we've got our everything set up for us. Okay, so we've installed WordPress. And to basically what we do here now is if you look down the side, first thing we want to do is install a theme. So if you go to appearance and across the themes. So I'll show you the free one first in case you want to use something else. So it appears here with some that are already built in. These are basic WordPress ones. So you'd come to here to add new. Click on there. This will, These will all just give you a basic template of where you're going to start. So these will all be free and all installed just as you see them. Um, it's absolutely hundreds of hunts. Well, it's called free, Freeware. This one used to be called Sydney and that's a very, very good one. Um, but these are all fantastic. If you type in search theme, we'll look for Astra and hopefully that will pop up anyway. Yep, yeah, so that's the Astra one. That's the one I recommend. The reason I recommend it is because it comes pre-built with Elementor, which is a website design package. Very, very customizable, really easy to use. You can also use Britsy, Gutenberg and Beaver Builder and it's completely workable with all of them so it gives you masses of sort of um, options that you can use within your website okay so what I'm going to do is actually upload the premium theme from here so I'll go across into my account because I've already got it and I'll go accounts downloads and basically I come through download all of these to your computer it's got some other it's all WooCommerce and everything else, cart flows and all sorts of stuff on there. Um, so I've already downloaded these to mine, so you just need to do that. Then for the themes, you just come here, upload the theme, choose file. That's the latest one. Open that and install. And as per normal, take a few moments just for it to install onto your actual WordPress, putting all the files in, doing everything that it needs there. 
Okay, so that's now theme installed successfully and activate that. Now, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to install what is called a child theme as well. Uh, what this allows us to do is to actually move from, you'll have your basic theme here, which it could be updated. Then you have the child theme in front here, which is what your actual users and visitors will see. So on the child theme, you can come in, you can make changes, you can amend fonts, colors, and whatever. And that will always stay the same. The updates will happen in this back one. But when those updates happen, the front one will always remain. So you can do changes. If major changes happens, it won't have an effect on what your visitors see. Okay. Um, I use that for all of my websites. Um, it's dead easy to do. So here you've got Brainstorm Force. Um, gives you the option to download the child theme. You won't be able to do this on the free version, but it's not essential. It's just if you're running a business website, it just stops you having issues later on. If uh, an update happens, it can make sort of substantial changes. OK, so it will call it. I'll open up the theme. All for be me. It's going to be that. So uh, uh. says here dimensions for a picture I'm going to nip across I'm going to pinch something from a website called pixabay.com it's all free and copyright free images so you can use them let's just have a Go, there's Mount Kilimanjaro itself, there's the one. So I'm just going to pinch. Oh, I've got loads in there, good, so I'll mix some of them for later on. I'm going to take the one of actual Mount Kilimanjaro. Free download. It gives you all the sizes here. That one's fairly close for what I want. I'll just log in. Right, free download. locked me out for some reason but you can just log in it's got sign up it's on there somewhere um, but yeah you just log in it's completely free to use and you just take whatever you want get the manjaro choose the file there should go through really and tidy this up a bit okay okay, okay. I wonder if it's not maybe saved it to that file. Kilimanjaro, do that and generate. And it'll just download down in your bottom corner a zip file, which is your child theme. Come back to your main theme. So go themes, add new, upload. Is that the same process as what we did? We're going to be doing this a lot in the next few minutes. Downloads, there it is, zip theme, zip file. Now we just install that one. Uh, 
There you go. Requires a parent theme, so that's what we already did, which is Astro 1.8. Okay, installed successfully, then activate. Okay, so that's our theme. That's our child theme now. This one here. What I would do, you've got all these other ones that are installed. I would delete two. I always leave one in, 2017. Um, it's the one with the vase with the strange cactusy type plant poking out of it. The reason I leave that in there is because if there's any problems, this is the one that can be installed so we can troubleshoot. But these other two we're not going to use for anything. So we go in, down in this bottom corner is delete. Okay, that. Click in it. Bottom corner, delete. Right, so now we've just got our three that are in here. So once we've got the themes in, what we're going to do is come to plugins, go to install. If you're using the fast hosting, um, A2 hosting, it will install a number of plugins for you straight away. Um, I'll show you which ones they are. Okay, so it puts Jetpack in there. Uh, w3 Total Cache, Optimize WordPress, Easy Hide Login, Optimizer, and all sorts. You won't necessarily have all of these ones in yours. Some you don't need. I use a different image optimizer, so I'll get rid of that. Um, and these are ones I'll hide as well. Deactivate that one. In fact, I'll de deactivate all four of these in a moment. I won't be using them necessarily. Okay, so I have deactivated all of them. I'm not going to actually delete them yet, I'll do that later. Um, and now what I'm going to do is install all the plugins from my download area. So all of these, which I've downloaded from here, saved into my computer. Um, and I'll go through and do that. So I'll show you a couple and then I'll stop. So you add new in the plugins, upload plugin, choose file. As you can see I've got my plugins there. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I'm going to put in. Rich snippets, the Astra add-ons, portfolio premium, convert pro, Elementor, and the schema pro. So the ones you want to do, just double click and it will appear here. Install. Installed and activate. So I'm just waiting for it to, to happen. Sometimes this might take a minute or two to actually upload and install. Depends on your connection. For some reason, mind if it's slow tonight. Okay, so that's the first one done. I'm not going to worry about doing this. I'll go through this as a separate lesson later on. So back to plugins. Click on add new. Install. As you do a lot of these, you're going to need um, the key to make them work. If you're using the premium one, you'll get the keys to make them all work. Um, if you're using the freebie one, doesn't matter at all. It will just give you the, the access to everything that you need. What I'd recommend you do is go through, install any of the plugins that you need then go through and put all the keys in as a one -er. So I'll show you that in a moment. Just waiting for that to activate. Okay. 
Right. And as you see here at the top, it says, please activate. So you have to go in afterwards and activate the premium features. But at the moment, add new. Okay, so now I've installed all these seven um, different plugins that are required. As you see, you get activate, activate, activate. So generally what I do, I have a notepad that has all my activation keys on it. This one doesn't. This is a different thing. So I'll just have them all listed on here. And then as you go through, you just click on that. Take it to the next page. Over here, enter license key. And that's all you do, enter the license key and activate license. Okay, I'm going to take two seconds to quickly go and do that. Okay, so it's taking me about five, ten minutes or so to go through, upload all the plugins, activate them all with the keys that are needed. Now remember, if you're just using the free one, you don't need to do any of that. It'll do everything automatically for you. So if you look through your plugins now, I've got all these extra bits and pieces on there. Um, if there's anything that needs updating when you come down here, just click on this, update now. There is another way I'll teach you when you're doing sort of website maintenance, what you need to click on and where to look for that. We can do all of them in one go, but I'll just cover this for now just because we have to have it on the screen. Okay, so once that is updated, which should only take a moment or two, We're going to come across and we're going to use a site installer. Okay, so what that will allow us to do then, there we go, it's now updated. So what we're going to do is import a completely designed theme that's similar sort of to what we're looking for, just to give us an idea and a template to work from. So every business is different, um, and I'll just go and show you. Um, so you've got appearance, go across here, go to here. Astra Starter Sites and click on that one. Select the page builder. I always use Elementor because I find it the most user friendly, but you have a choice of four. So choose Elementor. That's the one I'd recommend. It's nice and easy. Click on Next. Okay, and we have loads and loads of different sites, more different niches, wherever you want to blog business site, e-commerce, the free ones so you can see if you did just download a freebie website from Astra, you get the choice of all of these. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with any of these. And they've just got a few more sort of slightly more limited features, but they're all great sites. So um, I'll just put it onto all and we'll have a look. When it loads up, you've got a nature one now. You put your cursor over it, it will scroll through, give you an idea what's on it. So that's quite nice. Travel and explore. I like that one. Yeah, so I like that with the image, but but then like that site, so we can always mix and match them. Um, agency, DJs. Well, Kilimanjaro's a mountain, it's a trekking company. So we'll stick with something that's more safari, wildlife. Um, so I'm going to go for this Travel and Explore, because I've not used this for a project before. So you can click on Preview. And it'll give you a breakdown. Which I like that, it looks nice. Yeah, I like that. 
Uh, if you want to have a look at the other pages, you can click on it. So reviews. So different tools that are available, a few details. That's nice, this weird line down the middle, I'll get rid of that because I don't like that, but I'll do that when we're actually into the site. Now over here, we've got Import Site. It will install any plugins that you require, settings, all the content, if you want the content, and all the widgets that are being used. A widget, all these bits down here are widgets. They're information that go across every single page within a website, and you alter them in a different way. Uh, again, we'll cover that a bit later. So we're going to just get this template in. So we go import sites. And it will take a, a couple of minutes to do. It's not normally very long. If you don't like it once it's on, what you can do is you come back to the start sites and choose another one. And then what you click on is this delete previously important site and it will remove everything from the website that you've imported and tried previously and allows you to put a completely new template in place. The only issue is sometimes it does tend to double up the pages so you might have to have a flick through and just delete any pages that have re um, you've got two copies of. Uh, the reason that's happened is because a lot of the templates will use the same titles, blog, contact us, uh, reviews, so when they've imported the new version, it's obviously made a copy of the same page of the same title. So you just have to have a flick around and work it out. It's not doesn't take too long. There we go. Import is complete. Well, I've been sitting here rabbiting away. Done. View site. So let's have a look. It's not quite updated yet. There we go. So for a website, that's taken me a couple of minutes to put in. I think that's fairly good. And like I said, this weird stripy colours in the back I don't like, so I'm going to remove all of them later on. But I'll do that once in. That shouldn't be too much of a big fix. Um, we've got the primary header is a clear header. So, but I'll show you how to do this with white backgrounds and whatever you want to do. Okay, so. We're, happy with that we've got our template of a website now in place um, that is now us when you want to come out of here just click on the back we're back to here back to our dashboard and we are ready to move on to the next step which will be planning our sort of page structure a few more plugins and then get ready for actually start building out and making this, the website our own and what we're going to do with it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.